I always feel like you pick the most people in your caravan. Yeah, I don't really understand why you wouldn't myself, but you know, a knight. Patience grows 70% slower during drizzle season. The queen seems to be preoccupied with more pressing matters. Looming darkness is always here. Villagers working in mines get minus 10 resolve during the storm. Rude. Horrors from beneath. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> minus 6 extra global resolve if I don't have coats during the storm. Minus 2 penalty to resolve. If I don't have complex food and housing, I probably will have complex food and housing. It's not that hard to have complex food and housing. I think like jerky is considered complex food, isn't it? I think so. Maybe it isn't. Street wood for every villager. Okay. So I may need more wood than usual. Open this, see what happens. First building. I don't think I want a tool shop or a temple yet, so I'm picking between plantation or trapper's camp. Okay. See if there's fertile soil. Basically, if there's fertile soil or a big thing to harvest, we'll decide whether I do that, I guess. What does a woodcutter's camp cost me now? Woodcutter's camp seems to cost the same amount. As far as I can tell, at least. do I want to do at the start here? Let's turn off eating the biscuits. I'll save those for later. Lots of raw food. I don't really know. There's some reason to not let people eat raw food at the moment. I don't think I want three woodcutters things, although I will need... I don't have beavers either. It will be harder to make wood this time. Wait, I do have humans. So when I was choosing the expedition, and I chose all lizards versus, what was the other option? Harp lizards and beavers, harpies and beavers. I'm confused. I thought I didn't have humans in this one, but clearly I misunderstood something. Yeah, let's open this and then make this decision and see what all is going on. There's two random people as well. Yeah, but you can only ever have um, three races total. And I thought the three races total in this biome were going to be the ones that weren't humans. Because I'm pretty sure that the caravans I was offered were nine lizards or like six harpies, three beavers implied to me that there were not going to be humans in this biome. So I guess the takeaway is that if you think strongly that one type of... how do I... one type of um, villager is better than another, that might change our caravan decision. How am I making? I don't have bricks, planks, or thing. Cloth. That's how I'm making cloth. How am I making bricks? The trees have meat on them. <laughs> it's arranged. <laughs> um, that makes bricks. The crimson reach trees make bricks. Maybe I should have opened this one. I don't see another way to make bricks right now. Interesting. Thanks are easy then. Is there a way to see the available resources on the map once you've started a settlement? They are there in the pause menu. 
What is this shop? What? Oh, these are... Buildings require 50% more times. Those are the Ascension modifiers. Prestige modifiers, whatever. The trees probably contain animals. I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Probably, though. You're probably right. I'm not sure that's what it is, though. I guess I'll build this. Does that say it requires five tools? No. <laughs> I'm not building that, then. I will build this. Called muscle sprouts. They are. Definitely are. Ten jerky for every ten pies. Meat production increases by one every 25 times it's produced. The trees have meat in them? That'll make me so much meat. Alright. Looks like meat's back on the menu. Meat specialization plus the lizard face. That lizard face is so appropriate here. That's the most appropriate that I've ever seen the new Pog Champ be in my entire time as a streamer. Technically, the trees do have lizards on them. That's true. There are lizards mining the trees. Ooh, we got three to choose from. Um. Now that I have increased building storage, having increased pack size seems better. This is only for delete events, though. Eh, don't care. More population? I could just take more population. Five tools for a bunch of shit. Trading stuff. Trading stuff. I like trading. Glade events for population. I think I want the parts so I can build stuff, yeah? Harpy resolve above 15, lizard resolve above. Lizard resolve is so easy to do. Let's do lizards. You, Anthalus, but also cool, but also you, but also cool. <laughs> uh -huh. Now I have one more person. The road over here that's usually a safe bet. I don't know. Maybe I should build a building next to this. I feel like the absolute micro optimization optimizations in building placement will like become clear to me over time. I don't feel like it's worth it to spend a ton of time trying to min max it right now. I don't even know what the late game difficulty is. Fishmen hate fire. Flexibility to sacrifice goods in the hearth while it's being worked on. Hunter percent storm duration. Result and clearance seasons have decreased by 50%. That seems terrible. Don't want that. I could use some more coal. This becomes a global resolve structure. Cool. Could use a bit more coal. Let's call a trader. I have zero wood. Oh shit. I did not consider that building the traders thing would be like difficult now.
started with 20 coal and then I burned some. Well, yeah, I have no wood. <laughs> kind of have to. Fascinating. Maybe we'll reach the point where you can't just walk into a glade and do it straight away. Can I build a mine? Absolutely not. Can't do this, can I? Seems that beavers are good. Mm -hmm. Maybe also chopping trees down near the warehouse is good. That one's also possible. Harpy resolve is low. They are rationing their biscuits. biscuits. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with that ship. Hmm. It didn't undo. Weird. Looks like I have enough materials for this now. Stage 5 is the first interesting one, really changed the way you played. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping will happen, and that's one of the big reasons why I haven't just like unlocked all the prestige, is I'm hoping that I'll like develop strategies as I'm going and then be forced to adapt them to different difficulty levels. Like, I feel like eventually I'll stop being able to just open this as the first thing I do, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to be more clever about it. Suddenly the harpies have biscuits. Happy, happy harpies. Um, I should do this. I don't think it changes until they take a break, otherwise you could cheese it. Let me tell you something about things you can cheese in this game. <laughs> this game does not prevent you from cheesing things. Uh, there's no reason to do either of these right now. That I can see. I just want to see what the next building is though. I'm not ready for it anyway. You've never been so upset by lack of biscuits that you wanted to run away, haven't you? Did you not have childhood? I feel like that was like every other day for me as a child. have four of that. Buildings construct faster. Wood cutting is easier. I sold you a literally everything. I could get faster wood cutting, I think. I'd need two parts. Ugh, that might be too much. Stuff. 
totem of denial. Not the lack of biscuits, it's the fact that there are biscuits right there and you aren't allowed to eat them. This was another concern for me as a child. It's very relatable. Yeah, actually, if you like understand the villagers as basically like five-year-old children. They're very productive for five-year-old children. Maybe some observations about the ethics of child labor are in order. But it does seem to uh, help the game make sense. I started Kill James Bond, a podcast where they analyze what's wrong with every single one of the 24 James Bond movies. It's lovely. I really love it. I don't know why, but for some reason I get really into like podcasts about how everything is wrong. <laughs> Which is like, maybe that would be worth looking at. I don't know if I want a lumber mill. I don't love the other options here. I've still never really used oil for anything. I'm sure someday I will. Just take a plantation. Anything in the constellation of Well, There's Your Problem podcast is fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird to me that that is how I enjoy spending my time listening to stuff like that. Abstractly, it doesn't seem like it would be the most fun thing to do. We go to a Forbidden Glade. I'm kind of down to just fuck around and find out. I wonder what that noise was. Sometimes there are noises and I just have no idea what they are. I'll hear the one that went like... Do you think that was important? Because I, I don't know what it was. Need fabric and bricks. Oh, I still can't make bricks. Like, at all. Trader? You're gone. Shoot. Maybe I should have, um... Bought some help making bricks. Hmm... Cut that out. That would make me a little bit. You crossed a hostility threshold noise. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm going to survive the first storm on the back of my biscuits. Common. I also finished that, so suddenly I have six builders and no housing for anybody. I would house 15. Here's how many I have. I don't have planks to upgrade to the next level though. You support me opening forbidden glades and then dying to birds. <laughs> Secondary resources where it says 30%, is that guaranteed 30% or is there some RNG to it? I am not sure. I don't know.
Feels like you do enough harvests that it will all even out in the end. Gonna have to chuck all harpies and lizards this storm. Actually, I'm not sure I am. This is going to make this into a an encampment, and then I'm going to finish building houses. That's fine. It does feel like I needed to uh, perhaps think for more than a half a second. Oh, this is also going to give me the whole result. Okay. Maybe I had to think for more than half of a second about whether I could make bricks and cloth at the start of this run, because I cannot. Let's just go to this, actually. And that will hopefully get me some bricks chopping those trees down. and I haven't watched the intro video. You're getting the vibe that this game is like Frostpunk 07 and keeps to survive the code and the biscuits to survive the wet. I haven't played enough Frostpunk to see how much this is like Frostpunk. You do build a city and there is apocalyptic stuff going on. But I think the vibe of the game is very different. I played enough Frostpunk to feel like I can fairly say that what I'm thinking about while I play this game is very different from what I'm thinking about when I play Frostpunk, but I don't know. I didn't play that much Frostpunk, and I haven't played it recently, so possibly this is incorrect. I have no fuel. Is my hearth going to go out? That would cause me to die. A forced delivery, maybe? Maybe forcing delivery would be appropriate. I think this person's bringing wood. I think we're going to be okay. Was there some reason I needed a particular species? Not to my knowledge. If I get cloaks, I'll just wear them straight away. That seems like kind of a waste. Take the root. And then... Oh, shit. If I actually want fabric, I may actually have to build this. But I probably actually want fabric. I can harvest that later, so it seems okay. This requires 15 wood. I have zero. I need another woodcutter's thing. Every completely infected building generates 3 amber per minute, but also adds 15 hostility. That's spooky. Wood production is increased by 1, but harvesting and planting are 25% slower. Harvesting and planting are 25% slower. Okay. That'll get my fuel worked out, hopefully. I don't know, Coop Dog. Frostpunk has a very bleak view of society. Yeah, something like that. I'd say its views on society are cold. Um. According to Steam, this is similar to cities at Skylines. A little bit, maybe. Crimson Reach trees. It's an interesting biome. I have to like think about which trees you're chopping down to get the stuff that you need. Are there trees that have. Oh, so I should be chopping some plate leaf trees to get fabric. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning slowly. of provisions and crops. Those don't seem like a priority right now. The fire is going out, but I have fuel. 
I have wood. It's right there. Let's put it in the fire. We're okay. Simply put the fuel in the fire. <laughs> Harvester's camp. Holy shit, I have so many people who aren't doing anything. Uh, maybe I need to build another wood cutting thing. I don't know, what can people do? Maybe I build a mine. The thing is, there's only two coal there. I think it will run out if I build that mine. There's stone down here. Stone for bricks. Let's get that. We're gonna want that, right? I don't have enough. I can't build it. Holy shit! <laughs> what? This does make the game harder. Oh my. Okay. I wonder if there's like a lot of juggling of production buildings on like you have to disassemble something and then make it somewhere else kind of idea. E.K. Hawkman. It'd be nice to get into this like now ideally. More orders. I want this. I have clothing. Need for clothing fulfilled. That's different. Dangerous glades. Discover two dangerous glades. Biscuit humans. Well, I'm going to fulfill this pretty quickly. I don't know how long it's going to be before I make biscuits. Probably a long time. I'll take the one I'm fulfilling soon. It's very hard for me to do this. Artisan and 50 barrels, 35 barrels. Nope. Very hard for me to do all of these, I think. I'll just take the building materials. It's a little bit easier than the other stuff. Even after watching my intro, this feels like you have to play it to understand it. I'm playing it and I still don't understand it, so... Even more than that. So when I call the trader, I need to buy the raw resources required to make bricks and fabric. Hey Severin! Can orders fail? I think there's a way to have timed orders, but I don't have it unlocked yet. Like I'm not opening this fast enough. I have enough resolve to open a bad glade though. I hope. I think so. How many? I still have seven people not doing anything. Okay, what can I do? What can I build that makes people do something? I built another woodcutter's camp. is relatively cheap and it will give me resources that I need. Um, I could use another couple of houses maybe? Uh, 
but I can't build the fancy ones. Can I make packs of provisions and packs of crops? I don't know, but I can make a makeshift post and find out. I'll want one of these anyway. I could be doing trade routes if I made packs of provisions. A few people have checked it out, Spectorians. Seems like a really good game. What's happening? I'm low on wood again because I just built a bunch of stuff with it. Hey, it's the same thing! I remember this thing. The last time I did it, I purchased stuff to be able to. <laughs> uh, I need to make more planks. What's this? A cellar. What does a cellar do? Wine, pickled goods, and jerky. I have a trapper's camp already. That's good. And I can build a farm, and a farm doesn't require parts, I don't think. So that's good. And this could be a mine, and this mine feels a lot more worth building, because it's on much more stuff. That's also good. Mines do require parts, unfortunately. Getting those 24 planks done. with all the zero wood I have. I have plus one on wood harvesting and I have three wood choppers and they're all working. Why would you do that? I thought I had all of them set to avoid place. That was close. Pack of crops. I can make pack of provisions. I can also make pack of building materials. I do not want to make. Kurt, thanks for the 33 months. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. hearth and warehouse down here because I'm going to use the cellar I think although it's so bad at making jerky probably barely worth actually making jerky out of it oh also my trappers are going to want to be close to a warehouse they're going to spend like half of their time walking that's core thanks for the 14 months Salvage or convert? Convert is more global resolve? Sure. Let's keep doing more of that. I just want to check which orders there were. I need lizard resolve at 15 for three parts. Honestly, it's not even many parts, is it? Thank you. 
Scouts are idle. Oh. Oh. We need more planks. There are planks being made. Did I just 2x on that? Went from 0 to 4. Like instantly, it felt like. Alright, they're on the way. If you hold Alt, you think it will prevent you from marking trees with open blades. Alt um, seems to undo, which is good to know about, but is different. But control, control does what you're saying. Interesting. Zelda. I have a lot of meat. We don't sell parts. Walkie foots. <laughs> Walkie foots. Sorry, what did I just say? You don't sell stuff that I can weave, but you do sell fabric, you do sell bricks. Took a meat speciality here, so it should be relatively easy to make a billion meat and then sell it. And the trees have meat on them, so I will be I'm getting three meat every time I harvest meat already. Just wondering if I go for a uh, perk as well. Woodcutters move faster seems kind of good. I need. It's gonna be uh, eighteen point seven five. He asked for a new pair of walkie foots for Christmas. Good choice. Love some walkie foots. Let's turn off plank production here. Actually, I probably only need one person in here now. Just found out you can shift right click and it will pull everyone. Fascinating. <laughs> um, I actually had fabric anyway. What do I want to build? <sighs> Suddenly I have a wealth of resources. I don't think I have any builders really. Um, fixing this up could be good to get a little bit of jerky going. Building a farm would probably be good. Complex food. Let me make complex food. Ring collector? Maybe I build a ring collector? I wanted a hearth down here. Some stuff on the way. Some of it is stuff that I am currently in the process of building. <laughs> um. Wow, hearth is expensive now. How do I complete the order? I have to have seven amber, and I have to give them my seven amber. Oh fuck, I can't build a warehouse. What a nightmare. I get it though from Lizard Resolve, and I should have that soon, somehow? I wonder how. Well, this is going to give me another three global. 
Is it three global? Another three global. And then I could just prefer them. That would do it, actually. Pretty much already there. Okay. It'd be a bit nasty, but not too bad. Eternal parts shortage. Yeah, exactly. The game looks nostalgic in a foreign way. That's cool. Why isn't this working? Oh. Because I need to deliver it. And then it is working. Deal. Blizzard Resolve goes down so slowly that I can probably just sit on this for the entire storm. Harvester's Camp. What do I want to open next? I should be opening something. Lizards are great. Resolve going down slowly is so strong. And they're very easy to um, make happy early on, it feels like. They only need to be 10 above their base resolve to be happy, huh? And humans need to be 15 above. Is lizard base resolve 5? They're at plus 5, minus 21, so they should be minus 16 from base resolve. Base resolve is 8? And they start gaining reputation at 15. We only have to go up 7. Idle population is right here. That's builders, free workers. You'd separate them to three numbers, so you have to add them up, but that's where it is. Boom! Wait, I did this as well. Whoops. I want to deliver it. Oh. I have increased hostility by doing this. And then I've increased it even more. <laughs> um, which was a choice, I guess. Right in the middle. Some flour? Cookhouse. I want a cookhouse. I want to be able to make meat, more meat, meat forever. Could I turn meat into more meat? Could I feed the animals meat to make meat? I do have a town that is getting the meat perk. I'll go for it. I didn't check how many parts that required. How many parts does it require? Zero. Deal. Are the only ones that require parts these? Three, five, 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 five. <laughs> and then warehouse? Two. Blight post. Oh, shit. I did not realize that a blight post required packs. That's iffy. Tried feeding meat to produce more meat. Spoiler alert, it didn't end well. Did we stop trying that? I wasn't aware that we had stopped.
once this finishes, my lizards will be happy. Just a sec, let's look at this first, actually. Boost global resolve by one for every three levels of standing with other settlements and trade routes. Trade routes it is. Trade routes it is. Um, this is where I make provisions. I don't want packs of crops anymore, but I do want provisions. Using meat for those makes sense. Oh shit, there's only one place! Because it's, like, the first... ...settlement. Oh, that's so weird. Right? That's so weird. <laughs> huh! Because last time there were, like, five, because it was the last settlement. That is very strange. And I work out if there's some reason to have one of these over the others, I don't really know. I do have planks now. Or I at least can have planks now. Clearly I don't actually. Wait, this requires two wildfire essence now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Five is a large difficulty boost. Rain Collector also wants parts. Uh, Wellington makes a 31 months. It rounds up 50%. Diabolical. Diabolical. Lizard. Reputation to 15 here, even with this finish. I'm gonna have to cut. Um, woodcutters. I have five hostility. I have this finish. Jerky time. Like a cookhouse? Is that where all my meat went? Where did all my meat go? Am I not actually harvesting meat? Make sure people aren't eating the meat. I think I sent it actually. I think I sent it here. I think that's my meat. Yep. <laughs> that's my meat. Whoops. I was going to open this right now, and it seems to be taking a long time. Am I also making provisions out of meat? Yo, don't do that. Eggs. I mean, okay, well actually... I understand why, because I have this many nets. It does kind of make sense to be doing that. Risky Expedition gives me nothing of much use. Okay. 
I think there might be meat stored in the provision shop. Hey, J Bird. Is this variety or am I uh and against the storm streamer now? It's so hard. It's so hard to get another bit of resolve there. I guess we just finish this production and we're done. out of nowhere. Oh, that's true. Yeah, well, one half go invites you to play Among Us. You say yes. That's my opinion. Playing Among Us with Hafu is a lot of fun. I need eight planks for a garden. to have that money. There was an Among Us stream you missed. We were playing hide and seek in Among Us, which is not quite the same thing, but it's kind of the same thing. Yay! 10% to global production speed probably helps a lot. Ooh! I'm building this finally. Did I want that? I don't know. <laughs> I hope I wanted that. I don't know if putting that lizard there does anything. Also, I have a billion workers who aren't doing anything again. What do I do with all these people? Population control. Like, having the right number of workers for how many buildings you have. Seems kind of tricky. Especially now that I am not allowed to... Just make whatever thing I want whenever I want to. Eggs? I don't have eggs? I don't have eggs. What happened to the eggs? I ate them all. Must have eaten them all. Did I put them in the food? Let's use meat for that. I wonder what you can use meat for. This is an interesting question. Meat ingredient. You can use meat for bags of provisions, jerky, and skewers. I could build a cookhouse and make skewers. It doesn't require any... parts. Risky expedition is done. What's the other half of skewer? How am I going to do the other half of skewer? I'm going to use berries for it, which means I don't want to eat berries, and that I don't want to use berries for other things. I'm using berries for this ever? No. To make sure I'm not using berries there. All oh, packs of provisions can be out of meat. I haven't built that yet. My ranch. Could make a ranch. Can I make a ranch actually? I don't know. I 
most of the stuff I don't have. What's a wrench cost? I could make a wrench. I'm not going to, but I could. Is it going to explode? This will explode. It will demolish the clearing, but that's it. So I can fail this one. It's not the end of the world if I do. On the other hand, that's eight parts. Boom. We are, we are not going to be failing this. I will have my eight parts. Thank you very much. I played one game on each difficulty, basically. Starting at the very bottom and, and moving upward. I might have skipped the one under Viceroy, maybe. Have at least 15 Harmony decorations. What? Never seen that one before. Fifteen of these, so it's like thirty planks, thirty fabric, thirty bricks, basically. I already have eight in the totems. Oh shit! Yeah, that's probably what we go for then. That gives us some wildfire essence to build another thing. Unless I want coal. Burn 20 blight raw cysts, that takes a while. We got biscuits. Biscuits are fun. Three dangerous glade or forbidden glade events. 15 building materials for five parts. That seems free, and walking fast is really good. Alright. I am back in this place where I feel like my wood is under pressure, though. How many woodcutters do I have right now? All of them. I have all of them. So, building materials. Is there a better way to make building materials that I know of yet? Was there a tinkerer somewhere? No. Alright, I guess I'm doing this. Phrasing. Phrasing. What's going on with you? We're about to have our first delivery of jerky. Are harpies better than beavers here? Mm, I feel like beavers are pretty good. I don't know. I have played like two games I think with harpies so maybe three I think I played one off stream and two on stream but yeah in general I don't know Really struggling with bricks. And I can't build a stone cutting thing, right? You know, a mine would generate stone as a byproduct. exactly that tree chopped. <laughs> the rest of the stuff I don't care about, but I want exactly that tree chopped. Some of my trees generate stone. 
That's true, but clearly not enough, right? Because I'm not... Oh, actually I have plenty of... Yeah, I guess they do, I know. Is there a trader? I need to turn off auto-collect. Auto-collect is betraying me here. Trees obviously don't generate stone. Stone doesn't grow on trees. Am I right? I still have five builders. an option where you don't have to click to open the trade chests, but you'd still be notified when they complete. Yeah. That would be a nice small thing. Please give meat sometimes? No, just more insects. Actually, this one's pretty close to the current warehouse. I'll just put it here. It's too much work. <laughs> we'll be finishing that warehouse soon enough, right? So we have a bunch of coal. Lizards are becoming a bit happier. I don't have enough time until the storm to do the lizard quest right now, though. What do I want to do with these parts? I want to build a mine. A mine and a warehouse. People are about to be very upset with me. Uh, let's open this glade up here next. Actually goes straight to it. You ever have dunge darkest dungeon problems where you don't have enough inventory slots to hold? You have collected slash produced. No, they don't have that in the game. That would piss me off. <laughs> so I'm glad they don't. Don't have any roots. It was kind of like I should only be eating meat at this point, instead of not eating meat. Changed my mind. I'm gonna only eat insects. Okay, let's cut all the wood production. That's fine, we zero out, but it's fine. What do people do during the storm? Like, what should what should I be placing my people on? Do that. I guess you can do like quests, like this one if I had tools I could do. Glade stuff. Feels like there isn't much to put people on, so they're just kind of standing around. Could build lots of roads. Let's do this. What the fuck? Why is this so much worse than I thought it was going to be? Melancholy. Oh. Wait, everybody has to have complex food? Am I dead? <laughs> With the shadow. 
Ah, uh, and Cloudburst. Oh. Oh. I have a lot of wood. I could do this. That that helps a lot. Yeah, that's fine. It costs 160 wood to get through the thing, but it looks like I have over 300 somehow. some parts. It does feel like quests are going to largely become which one gives you parts, at least until other things become harder to get, because parts are a massive, massive problem at the moment. is done. How many people live here? Mm, a lot. Send another two houses over? So I should probably get going on cloak production, huh? How am I going to do that? I have fabric. A harpy left? Are you fucking serious? They leave so fast. Oh, they leave so fast. These people are bringing parts. Yo. Yo. I'm into it. I think it was already low, is why it happened. Uh, what else do I need to build? I have something harvesting that. I have lots of things. Maybe time for another hearth already. I can't. I don't know. I don't know what else I need to build. Woodcutter's Prayer. Plus one to wood production, but lose all stored fuel. You can four crystallized dew for every 20 resin. I'm just getting crystallized dew from trees. I don't think I need that. One resolve for every two impatience points. This is so much wood. Do I need wood? I feel like I already have so much wood. Just take rebellious spirit. Yes, I know that, Carthos. Hey, silly name. Silly name 69. My day is going okay. Harpy Craftsman left. Put our woodcutters back to work. Uh, what else? Some people in the mines. 
I think now is when I have to worry about Blight Rot. Call it a hunch. Where's stone? There. Nope. Can I make this? Oh, this was going to make stone, right? As a byproduct? I don't think that's making stone. It doesn't look like it's making stone. Why did I think that was going to make stone? Does coal say that it makes stone as a byproduct? It does. That's why I think it makes stone. Okay, so it does make stone. So I don't need a stone. Alright then. Give the whale. having trouble keeping up with the dependency tree for buildings. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff for sure. Uh, Lizard Resolve is going to hit 15 finally. Gives me more parts if I remember right. I have a cookhouse. Let's make some skewers. I only have 12 berries? How is that even possible? I don't understand how that's possible. I could also make biscuits. I could try to make biscuits. Maybe this needs to only plant berries. Although, for fabric, how much? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We got so much. Um, Yeah, only berries there. Okay. Hopefully that will give me all the complex food requirements next time. I forgot about my trade routes again. You want water skins and apparently I have those but I don't have stone. <laughs> kind of conf kind of confusing. 20% woodcutter movement speed. I think that's really good. Probably. Do you have stuff I want to buy? Tools. The tools would be nice. I don't know if I have enough to buy those with, though. I could buy, like, two, maybe? Trade routes. And these. It makes crystallized you from resin, but the only building that can make resin also makes crystallized you, and resin is almost useless. That's been my feeling about resin, too. I don't know, though. Maybe I'll find some reason for it all. Sure haven't been making enough planks. How long does it take you to make planks, friend? 17 seconds or two. Why am I struggling so much? to make planks. I guess I'm building stuff out of them. That would explain it. Lots of meat, parts, two new lizards. Did I have a wildfire essence quest? I did. This one. I need to finish that one. Okay. Maybe it would be fine to work the mine all the way. Resin and crystallized dew. Eh. A weaver. A weaver is good. A smithy is also very good. I need to make coats. Um, both of these seem good. I need to make coats out of fabric. Uh, I think my fabric production is actually okay. Let's take the smithing. Q. 
keep an eye on stone. Let's see if stone starts to go up. Nope, not yet. I have zero bricks. <laughs> My lizards got a little bit upset. They're still happy enough to make a bit of resolve, but I need houses for them. Might be time to start. I think I think it's still not. Still not time to start making specialized houses. That resource cost is not insignificant. Shoot your reputation for a minute. I have 18 of them. Oh. What happened to my skewers? Taking them right now. Building materials are coming along. Harmony happens after this is done. Bricks should start to happen now that I have the mine working. What do we got? We got another thing that explodes. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> these always take spark to you, it feels like. Maybe I should be making it so I can solve these with spark to you. Anything give me tools? Just wondering if there's a way to solve this without calling another traitor. I can let it explode. That is a way to solve it. Lapidoris. Hello, I don't like change. You're the beast. Mm. I don't think I can make 24 spark to you that fast. Tools in the smithy. Did I make a smithy? I don't have planks. I can make tools though. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna have tools. This is priority, I think. Harvester's camp is done. Is it really worth setting tools to only use planks when I have so much wood? No, it's not. I cede to your wisdom. Hello, trader. Do you have literally anything I can use for this quest? Can I do it with resin? Wait, that's oil. Oh shit. Uh, um, do you not have anything I can do it with? That's remarkable. Yeah, I could buy a loot box. That might actually be the play. Because it doesn't look like anything else can do this. <laughs> I 
I wonder how fast I can get this done. Does it say what the construction time is anywhere? Tools cost me a minute to make. I would need to make that three times. And I need to get here. There are... How many working slots are there here? I don't know. I think that might be blowing up. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Not having anything to reduce uh, hostility is kind of awkward. Alright. Let's game. I got one small mystery box. One planks production. Okay, I'll take it. Um, we are, it is going to explode. <laughs> it is 100% going to explode. But you know, it's, it's fine. It happens sometimes. No stone. I wonder if there's stone in the mine right now. I could also attack the trader. Yeah, I don't think I need to do that. There's four stone in the mine right now. Alright, so let's... I can't wait that long. <laughs> Can I put another person here? Get rid of you. Put in whoever's closest. Does it select the person who's closest when you do that? Yeah. I wonder. I don't know. Six. You know what? Now that I get three blanks per proc, I'm going to go to this. Jim Fizzas! Thanks for the 47 months. Hope you're doing well. What builders do I have? Six. Hopefully one of them will be nearby. Probably all up there working on the road. Shit. I should have built roads here and prioritized them. So that my builders would be down there. Lizards and harpies take bakes slightly more often. This one, please. There's no way I'm fast enough. Do I have um do I have any sea marrow? Do you have sea marrow? Resin and sea marrow look so similar. High level of corruption. That's okay. I'm building the thing that deals with that right now. Is it okay? It might be okay. Go, 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 go. Clearance. Can't do this because I don't have packs of provisions. Okay, I still have planks. Oh, I do. Wait, I don't. 
I do. You're on break. Six seconds. I have to do two cycles. No, it's done. It's gonna it's gonna blow up. What's the range on it? It's gonna open up other glades. Oh god. Uh let's get these people out of there. I don't know if it kills my villagers when it explodes. Hey bumba bumba. Should staff this with lizards. Getting up on that shit. I do like the idea of building a lot of simple tools though. Definitely. I do like the idea of building coats as well. I don't really have any fabric. working as hard as they can. I just don't have any fabric. Okay. Skewers have shown up finally. Complex food isn't quite fulfilled, and I'm not sure why. Feels like unnecessarily tricky to fulfill complex food. Are there monsters in this, like, SimCity Disasters mode? I saw a pretty impressive Leviathan corpse recently. Every three levels of standing. So I'm significantly far away from that giving me one resolve. That was not a good one to take. I wonder if I could get enough tools to do this before it explodes. Nope. Ten parts. I don't think I actually need parts that much, though, at this point. I think I have enough. I more need, um, wildfire essence to make another of these. I think I need the thing that upgrades them to the next level now that I'm not allowed to make more of them. I mean, I'm kind of allowed to make more of them, but I'm not, you know? This is already done. Oh, shit! It would have... <laughs> it would have solved it! Oh... Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. I'll take it. and deliver it. Leisure and brawling. Brawling and education. Better fabric production? Better fabric production is okay. I think I'm alright though. I already have a carpenter, don't I? Do I not? I don't. These are more expensive. Look at that. The Crown Chronicles. Each rebuilt or salvaged ruin. Currently that's plus one. And I think Gleeman's Tales is plus three already. But... Probably an education. I don't think it matters that much between the two for that reason. So we'll go with Tavern because it's currently plus three. I wonder if these count. What does it say exactly? Reach rebuilt or salvaged ruin. I don't think that's a ruin. I think it's something else. Education and brawling. 
kind of my jam. I'm a bit worried about this storm. We'll see how it goes. My town's doing okay. It's just like a little bit slower than it has been in other um, other starts. I finished my building materials. We don't need two of you here anymore. Also, I could get rid of any planks that you have stored. Ten percent faster movement, five parts, and wildfire essence. Okay, let's build another hearth up here then. Is this even where I want it? I think that's good enough. Biscuits and pie, foragers camp for grain, scrolls and ale. The buildings that create the things that serve the tier 3 buildings. Like if this is tier 0 and then tier 1 turns the grain into flour and tier 2 turns the flour into biscuits or whatever. The tier 3 buildings where you serve biscuits. Oh yeah, okay. Let me rephrase. The complex thought. This is like a tier 2 uh, end of production building because the biscuits are edible so the product that it makes is useful immediately this is a tier 2 non-ending production building this is a tier 2 building that produces something that needs to be used for tier 3 and buildings like this seem really hard to take because like I don't even know if I'm going to get a building that uses the tier 3 thing yet and it's so complicated to even build the thing to begin with. I'm gonna run to the bathroom and we'll be right back. <laughs> Why does the scribe make ale? <laughs> you know, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I feel like my wind condition here is probably based around, hmm, it's like resolve and tool production probably. I make flour. I don't even know if I can make grain. Maybe I grab this so I can make pie as well, and then I um, buy the stuff to make flour. Or buy the stuff to make biscuits or whatever. No, 
think it's worth it to take another building to go from two star coats to three star coats. I think given that I want resolve, I want to upgrade to species specific housing, which is going to be a lot. Do we do the harmony quest first? Oh, that gives a bunch more wildfire essence, so I can get another heart. Let's do this. Start building species specific housing over here. Weird that it lets you build um, beaver houses when there are no beavers. There simply aren't any of those here. God, our beans. It's expensive. I've been offered Weaver seven times. Don't need copper bars. Don't need ale. Don't need oil. Don't need flour. Don't need luxury goods. Don't need any of this. Pack of provisions. Let's take a provisioner. not matter which way the house faces. People don't ever go to the houses. Which is, like, I appreciate that. I think that makes the game a lot better. Don't want to have to deal with min-maxing people going in and out of houses. That sounds awful. I think my, my purging fire should be good enough. That's about to blow up. Soul Priestess. Suddenly have 11 tools. I have 20 uh, coats all of a sudden. So if I stay at hostility 3 for this storm, I'm hoping that it'll be good. I don't... how do you get everyone satisfied on complex food? As far as I know, everybody is eating complex food. I have 30 jerky, why would anybody be eating something other than complex food? Maybe... but everybody likes jerky as well. There's no reason for anybody not to be eating jerky. Do you need... two? No. It's just free real estate. It's pretty empty real estate. Oh, it paused halfway through the explosion. <laughs> oh, because this revealed. It's really funny. I get to see what gets destroyed as it's destroyed, I guess. All right, storm. We are going to pull um, woodcutters here. Perhaps a lot of woodcutters here. I want to get down to three hostility. I think another one of these, yeah. Need one more thing. Does that come from... that comes from this, though. Can I make another warehouse, yeah? I can. So I could actually, um... I could build out here. Let's try to 
prepare for the storm a little bit. Need some more harmony decorations. Should build a provisioner. That one is actually a priority. Okay, I think we'll be good. It'll cost me some wood. How was Among Us yesterday? Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Why are these people so upset? Frustrated. Horrors from beneath. Oh, no, no, no. Does that fix it? That was not really the problem, was it? It's all about the harpies. The harpies are the ones I'm going to lose from this. Thinking, 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 thinking. What can I do? Why do they have Cloudburst? Does everybody have Cloudburst? But I have coats. I have 13 coats. Why do they have Cloudburst? I don't get it. They're allowed cloaks, right? Yeah? I don't... I don't understand. Frustrated, haunted by eldritch terrors. It'll happen. They should be so happy. There are so many skewers for them to eat. And jerky. Look at all that jerky. Can I make flour yet? Biscuits. Eat more delicious skewers. Eat them. Eat the skewers. <laughs> no. I haven't checked this recently. I just realized. Fucking hell. Why did why did Cloudburst even happen? Such a mystery. The Harpy Smith has left. Suddenly we're super happy. Oh, impatience just went up. I let my impatience get too low. Fair enough. This is suddenly a place that built very quickly. All right, we made it through the storm. It's new. Harpies and Amber. Do that one. We have Harpy housing coming in. Pies, biscuits. It certainly feels like I'm going to win. It's just been a little bit trickier. Detail notes on different traders and their wares. Gain one additional active trade route slot. Traders will arrive 25% quicker. All trade routes are faster by 40%. This one? Wait. Ancient tablets? I think this one. Any trade routes that I want. Sure. 
sure. Suddenly I have no idea what to do. Those are like seven above reputation threshold. These are five above reputation threshold. Humans are going to be above you. <laughs> what? I guess I'm just going to win off reputation. I didn't even build a tavern yet. This feels like I'm just going to win off reputation, huh? Oh, I'm still sacrificing. Thank you. Oh, that breaks my reputation a little bit. That's okay. Can I delete this? It only gives me eight wood. It only gives me eight wood. Oh, okay. That's all that it takes, apparently. You get the same reputation if you do the trade route once versus adding more things to it. I don't know the answer to that question. I had never considered that you'd get more if you did more things. So I've never tried. I assumed that you don't get more if you do more things, but um, I might be wrong. Definitely be wrong. Would I like to know the answer? You researched it earlier. Um, I did it earlier in the stream, so you can just tell me. I already did that and just wasn't paying attention, I don't feel like. I'm having anything stolen from me if you tell me what the answer is without me having to do it myself. Money. Maybe I'll open this up. Why not? Stone. Don't have any stone. I think this is all pretty sustainable production. Like, I'm not eating into reserves or anything to make this complex food. Complex food is finally a satisfied need. One point of rep per transaction increasing the multiple doesn't help. Okay. That's what I thought, based on what I'd seen, but I wasn't sure. Oh, shit. Anywhere in particular that I want to chop here? Maybe go toward this stuff. Also, I could do these now. Presumably have some tools. Yep. Hostility got out of control this time, which would have been really bad if, um, if hostility was worse for me than it is. And there is reputation bar when you run out of orders. So one way is reputation because of my high resolve. Oh, sorry, this is the reputation bar. One way is resolve. Because of my high resolve, I am gaining reputation per minute from harpies right now. And you can pretty easily get like five or six from that without even trying very hard and far more if you try hard. Another way is glades. Inside glades, there will be events and you can choose to like send the stuff from them back to the Citadel. And others, these abandoned caches about around the map. If you make simple tools, you can use those to open them and then you can send reputation. And others like perks and um, traders will sometimes sell Reputation. There are a number of ways. 
lots and lots and lots of different win conditions in this game. There are perks like get resolve every time you make 70 of something, and so you can use those to make your resolve really high, and then your resolve will give you reputation. Last run I had a perk which was every time you spend 60 gold at a trader, you get reputation. So yeah, there's tons and tons of stuff. That's kind of cool. I haven't really... I really love the aesthetic of the game, but I haven't consciously examined it. I just sort of enjoyed everything about it. Action yields for packs of goods, biscuits, wildfire essence. Smokehouse for better jerky? Much better jerky. Also lets me build incense. Religion, leisure. I can't make religion stuff or leisure stuff. I'm gonna make a smokehouse. What's going on here? Another one of these. Can I actually do that now? For the first time I can actually do this. Arse hostility is increased by 300 points while I work on this. If I don't, destroy all the roads in the settlement. I can convert it into something that decreases hostility by 50. I'll take it. What is this? A ranch. Let's rebuild a ranch. What's the other stuff in here? Not much. Some farmland. I think I used to have a lot of builders, and now I don't have any builders. I guess I put them back to chopping the trees down, huh? I am concerned that um, the forest hostility is going to be plus 300 for the start of the uh, storm. <laughs> I feel like I'm not meant to open these before the storm happens. I feel like that's what I'm learning. Keep home. Keeps on happening. There was nothing I could do, says streamer. Says a streamer of the only stream in the world where this happens. Ten hostility. Yeah, but like, it's not actually a problem. Right? These are uh, still above the reputation threshold, actually. Using coal for that new totem, didn't I want plank? I don't know what that means. Didn't I want to use planks? Is that what you're asking? Hmm. What's wrong with using coal? I don't see anything wrong with using coal. Everyone's so fucking happy. God, I love it. Look at all these happy, happy citizens. Maybe don't break through to this glade right now. We do everything except a breaking through. Sother, the ancient. Lightning bolt. Less storm duration. That's kind of nice. Apothecary. Biscuits. Um, I'm good with buying that. Anything else I want? Oh. I'm good. Do you have any eggs? Or stone? Or water skins? 
Eggstone water scans. Nope. Wait. Is that bad? Is it bad to reduce the storm duration because it makes the years happen faster? No. I'm gonna go with no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have an extra 300 hostility for the first minute and 10 seconds of the storm. That's basically the entire storm. You have the stuff that you burn to make this go faster. 25% speed. Sacrifice sea marrow. No. I just realized what oil is for. You burn it to get 25% global production speed. That's actually fucking broken. 15 oil per minute gives 25% global production speed. You just want to be burning that all the time. It's not that expensive to build it. Oh, okay. I'll have to try that. There are not enough people working there. There are not enough people living in these two places. Does one make oil? I don't know. I, I haven't worked that part out yet. But I'm sure that we can work it out. Oil is also a really useful input for glade events. You slept on oil for way too long. Yeah. There you go. Asks in Gulf War voice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. High level of corruption. All right, but this is still gonna fight. We have two of these. We'll be fine. I would like my lizards to start the storm at higher resolve than this. I guess one thing you do during the storm is build everything for the next cycle, maybe. Do some ranching. Produces 17 meats. Panther, thanks for the 34 months. I have a seven of these, seven nuts. Meat specialization. Meat production increases by plus one every 25 times it's produced. Gained seven. Does that mean usually it would be making ten? A lot. Storm incoming. Where's that? If meat production bonus reaches 25, does the game kind of go nuts? Uh, all you can really do with... Like, if you have that much meat, all you can really do is save it to... A, sell it to a trader. I don't think it's that big a deal. Like, it doesn't really break the game. It does break the game, but like... <laughs> You know, everything breaks the game. That's the point. You like build a settlement till you've broken the game and then you win and you build another one to break the game again. What is our final order? Can I make trade goods? Did I ever pick up a thing that makes trade goods? Lumber mill makes trade goods. Okay. Let's make some trade goods then. Uh, 
out of nothing. They will make them from nothing. Is the merchant still here? Nope. Okay, well, you know, someday we'll work it out. That seems kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> We have a large buffer though, and the storm length is reduced. We might not lose anyone. I don't know, we'll see. I lose a couple of harpies, it's not like I lose the game. I have 27 seconds before harpies are actually above zero. Resolve anyway. Hostility is about to go down by 350. Any second? No. There you go. Um, that means I can put some woodcutters back to work. Oh, I never pulled those ones. Oops. We can open the glade. Is that forbidden? Oh shit! It's the scary one. Somewhere there's another woodcutter's camp. Nobody in it. Okay. Houses have room for one more villager. Seems useful. Every 10 completed traders, all houses will have room for one more person, but construction is 25% slower. I don't think I've completed 10. Also, I don't know if that's retroactive. It sounded like it wasn't. Did I not get another... Caravan of people? So I need to turn this off. Did I get more people? I don't think I got more people. Nope. 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 Rough. Oh, they're not going to show up yet because the storm was shorter. They'll show up in a little bit. That makes sense. Apparently I can make trade goods. Don't know how. Lightning catcher. I can actually open this one. Send it to the citadel. all over here. Cut, chop through that. Since I've uh, already solved that problem, find a different one to solve next. I feel like one of the ways I might lose... No, I'm not going to lose. That point. <laughs> Take it back. I open this? Short cannon. Any other tool chests? This one. It's cold as fuck, so you're making borscht. Nice. Sounds comfy. I already made enough trade goods. I didn't think I had 
the ability to make trade goods that well. I wonder what I made them out of. Probably flour? Probably made them out of flour. And the entire time I was able to and I just didn't realize. Brawling and religion. I don't have the things that let you brawl or religion. Good health to you. Global production rate. Cosmetics. Cleanliness. I'm go brawling and religion. Did I finish my tavern? I did finish my tavern. That's a smoke house. Uh, where's the person who makes the jerky. Got you an upgrade. Oh my god, that's out of control. You make incense as well? Didn't even think about that. One lizard. Um, and make a sample. Oh, oh fuck, I didn't Oh, but this can make this can make religion. Good. Yelp the same. This is about to run out of thing. Let's upgrade it. Um, this is going to end pretty quickly from here though. fast they walk. I have a lot of bonuses to walk speed. Should maybe check trade routes. I already did that. Could make a trader show up. Raising impatience is just good. This one is... Small destroyed caravan. Minus six to global resolve while I'm working on it. Why is global resolve low all of a sudden? Oh, because I'm at 13 hostility. <laughs> Thirteen hostility does seem like a large number. I also ran out of jerky. That's the other reason. Negative resolve and drizzle is scary. Yeah, I'm working on some stuff, you know. Lowers hostility by some number of points. It's probably good. Don't think I ever made it, so. I have a limit on how many packs of provisions I make. I think it's just unlimited. Five four. I'm doing well. Why do I have 968 food and no jerky? Because I moved the people who are making jerky to a different building, and they had to like load it up with food and make the jerky and stuff. 
There was a little bit of stuff to do before the jerky was available. I don't really care. Grill's a better way to make skewers, probably. Apothecary for... Eh. Don't have a place that cares about this stuff. I'm going to take that grill and just not use it. Seems fine. Lizard woodcutters gather meat better. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Is I making pickled goods here ever? It's not. Nothing to do! Look at us, we made all the planks in the entire world. Finish this shot. I guess there's value to finishing as quickly as possible, so you have enough time to do lots of settlements, huh? Level 10! A tinkerer. Simple tools, training gear, and packs of building material. Okay. A forum. Leisure and education. Public lectures. An alchemist's hut. Crystallized you, cosmetics, and wine. I feel like I found one of those on a map, but never... Obviously built one. Okay, stack of the wealth effect plus one global resolve each time you sell goods with 40 amber. Broken. And two packs of provisions for every 10 herbs produced. Okay. All buildings cost 40% less, but every discovered resource node has minus five fewer charges. That would be good if you were building lots of farms, I guess. But maybe is not incredible if you're not. There's a citadel upgrade that encourages you to finish fast. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Pinchy Claw. I could maybe be convinced to record through the looking glass this winter. It's been like a year since I did Alice in Wonderland. Phoenix Paradigm, thanks for the two years. Appreciate it. Congratulations on your cool blue hat. Cheap construction could be really good too early to alleviate the parts shortage. Never taken it. Yeah, definitely. 
Definitely, that seems like the upside. Minus five charges and big deal if you mostly harvest big nodes. Makes sense. Meta progression. <sighs> Fiery Wrath. Resources you sacrifice in the Ancient Hearth burn 5% longer for the impatience being held. Okay. Win a game with one converted rain toad and one converted totem of denial on veteran difficulty or higher. Okay. Moss broccoli seeds. Vegetables can now be grown in the greenhouse? I don't think I've unlocked the greenhouse yet. That's interesting. One cornerstone reroll charge per settlement. Was there one that let me see another cornerstone somewhere? How's this one? 10% construction speed. That's kind of nice. Newcomers bring more resources. That's also kind of nice. One additional option to choose from when picking cornerstones. Yeah, I would like that one. Maybe I just get there slowly, though. I don't know. Allows you to pay amber to reroll blueprints off for two each year. I wonder how expensive that is. Don't tell me. I'll find out. Find out eventually. I think I want embarkation range, maybe? So that I can get to the question marks on this map. Factions will settle the world map alongside you. You can set up trade routes with their towns and compete with them for bonus resources at the end of a cycle. Okay, that sounds sweet. Let's do that. So once per day you can join the royal expedition and venture into the strangest of lands where the ancient seals of broken reality has been sorted. That's the daily. Unlocks a pool of difficult, time-sensitive, and highly rewarding orders. one just because I ran out of energy to read them all. Factions are fun. Where are these factions? Show me factions. Oh shit, what is that? Four. You've heard that Brass Order is planning to embark here in four years. You heard that First Dawn Company is planning to embark here in six years. Vanguard of the Stolen Key is planning to embark here in five years. There are multiple competing factions constantly trying to settle the world map. It takes them a few years to establish a town, but if they succeed, they'll claim the resources of the surrounding map tiles and remove any nearby modifiers or treasure chests. Once a faction decides where to settle, a color board with number... Yep. Although faction towns may sometimes be an obstacle in your endeavors, they can also be very useful. If you have a trading post in your settlement and a faction town is located nearby, you can establish trade routes with it. With every action you take on the world map, you gain influence. At the end of each cycle, you'll be ranked based on said influence. And compared to other factions, the higher you place in the ranking, the higher the reward you will receive from the queen. Okay. Oh my god, imagine a PvP campaign. Wait, you could totally do that. These could be other players. There's like no reason why you couldn't do that. Huh. It's kind of cool. Well, if they want to go that way, I don't feel like I should go the same way as them, so I'll like go over here. I feel like I want a different biome. Scarlet Orchard. I haven't done a Scarlet Orchard yet. What is a Scarlet Orchard? It's called the Herb Garden of the Kingdom due to its abundance of herbs, berries, and roots. Ancient excavation sites can be found here. Oh, that's sweet! Every viceroy embarking on the expedition to the Scarlet Orchard is assigned a royal archaeologist. Like a completely different, uh, completely different game mode almost. So there are some here that I could do if I went this way. 
I could just take this one away from them? Can I, can I just take their shit so they don't get it? Is that a thing? <laughs> the ascension difficulties go on top of the hardest difficulty. Yes, their modifiers on Viceroy, I think is what you're asking. He spelt the verb. Hey, girly. You are playing on baby mode. Yeah, more trading partners seems great. I just did a Carl Forest, so let's do a Royal Woodlands just to have a bit of variety. I wish there were more biomes. Is it just marshlands, woodlands, Carl Forest, and Scarlet Orchard, basically? I guess there are question marks. Is that four different things? It's four different things. Cursed Royal Woodlands. Wait, cursed? Wait. Oh, Carl Forest? Okay, so there are some weird things. Oh, no, no, no. Carl Forest, I just did. I already know that one. Cursed Royal Woodlands again. I'm gonna go up this way to these question marks. Get away from the other people. There's only one question mark there. That's like not worth. Still haven't done a cursed royal woodlands. Yeah. I don't know if they're just always a little bit away from the start or what. What's prestige six? Higher food consumption. Oh, I'm so ready for that. Cause yeah, I feel like I'm overproducing food without trying. This will be fun. 